uh, today I'm talking about a new quilt top I just finished or flimsy as some of you say. It is going to be my next quilt pattern. It's called Dreamland and it's all sawtooth stars turned on points. They're really really small. It takes a really really long time but you are going to have flying geese mastered by the end of it and the sweetest blocks uh, light and airy quilt, although I'm about to make it in a, uh, a darker background, so we'll see what that ends up looking like, but yeah, it's, it is so dreamy, uh, so I'm going to show it to you, and then we'll talk about what, what the pattern's going to be like. All right, so this is the 70 by 70 inch size. And there it is, and like I said, Like I said, very, uh, you know, traditional, uh, not a lot of, not going on, but it just, there's something about it that I just really, really love. And what you'll notice on it is that, first of all, it has very minimal fabrics. I think this one is made, this 77 inch square size is made with nine fat quarters plus your background. And all, each column, uh, showcases a different one of those fat quarters. So here it is up close. And honestly, I wouldn't have thought, well, that's not true. I know that sometimes simple is just the way to go. But this, this block, again, has always been one of my favorite quilt blocks. And I really, really uh, like it in this quilt top. This uh, this is my uh, Hope and Feathers fabric line, or at least nine pieces of my Hope and Feathers fabric line. Let me get you close up. And uh, this is a uh, Bella off white background. So yeah, I think it's uh, obviously it's a very traditional quilt, but I think lining the columns up the way I did kind of puts a little bit of a modern take on it. I love it being on point. I feel like this is a quilt that my grandmother would have made for sure. Of course she would have used her old clothes because she always did. Um, but anyway, uh, let me show you some pictures of the quilt and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. I always feel like you can see uh, the pictures better than you can see the videos I make in, in this room. All right, so this is a beginner quilt pattern. It is a fat quarter friendly, and it doesn't require a lot of fat quarters. So your fabric choices can be very minimal, and it uses every bit of those fat quarters pretty much. So if you buy a kit for these quilts, it's gonna have, you know, you're gonna use everything. You're not gonna have scraps and stuff like that, or not many scraps. So here's the sizes that I have it um, in. The pattern is gonna have a 17 inch pillow. It's gonna have a 34 by 43 inch size, a 60 by 68 inch size, and then the 77 by 77 inch size. So those are the four sizes. And um, like I mentioned, it's a beginner quilt pattern. The pillow only uses one fat quarter. The 34 by 43, which would be crib, only uses four fat quarters. 60 by 68 uses seven fat quarters. And the size I just showed you uses nine fat quarters. So simple to choose fabrics for, I think. And I'm hoping to be sending this to my testers sometime after Christmas or maybe right before January or very early January and releasing this pattern either late January or early February. We will definitely have kits for it. And I have the pre-order uh, listing up already. You can go ahead and pre-order it if you want to. There's a little bit of discount uh, when you order it during pre-order because it helps me know how many copies of the pattern I should order. So I've already made this the, the biggest size. And this is a pattern that has been in the works for like over a year. And I actually made all the blocks for this the the medium the throw size the 60 by 68 i made all the blocks for it in february of 2022 and i'm almost done putting them together so i'll probably show you a video of that quilt top next week i'm a little bit disappointed in my background choice but we'll talk about that uh when it comes uh i should be starting the crib size in a colored background uh maybe a week or so from now so 
we'll see how time goes. I'm also planning on having a demo of a Sawtooth Star Block uh, coming up really, really soon. All right, so thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.